So hello, love. Uh, I just wanted to come today to celebrate you, to let you know that you matter, to let you know that um, all the things that we do in life, we oftentimes think of all the coulda, woulda, shoulda things, you know, oh, I should have done this, I could have done that, I, I wish I'd done this, when maybe if we just were to say, gosh, I did a good job, I tried really hard when I did this, I really, um, I really I really did my very best and that teaches me even more things because you continue to grow and continue to change you continue to develop new ways of doing things and that is worth celebration I had a workshop on Saturday which I was so happy with um, I had uh, four people that were interested and two people were able to attend but I was so pleased with those that did attend and what they got out of it and I thought this is great because what I uh, presented to them, then they were able to take what it is that they gained, and then they went on from there to um, develop their own uh, wins, their own celebration. And I was so, so pleased, and it meant so much to me. When the workshop was over, I said to my husband, let's go to one of our favorite restaurants. So we did. And the way to get there is to drive through the forest, which to me is just such a bonus. I love driving into the mountains. We have a forest nearby that is just beautiful. And we live at a fairly high altitude here. We live at about 7,000 feet. And where the forest is, is about 7,500 feet. And so the night before, the, the day before for the entire day, uh, we had just been in the clouds. And um, there was this frost on everything. Everything had just turned completely white because it's still pretty cold here in Colorado. And then it had snowed about 12 inches. So by the time uh, the workshop was over, the streets were cleared, um, and it was we were able to get from where we live to about 45 minutes away to this restaurant. And so as we drove through the forest, we noticed that the, as the, the trees that are facing the south side facing trees, <laughs> They had uh, all of the snow was melted off, and on the north side of the trees, it was still frosted over and still a lot of snow on it. So there was like nothing and everything. So it was kind of kind of a treat to see that, and it was really beautiful. And we had a wonderful dinner. We had good conversation. We really enjoyed our time there, and the food is always really good, and we have good service. But we came home, and as we were coming home, the sun was just... Uh, just about ready to go behind the mountains and I noticed that these tall grasses by the side of the road were um, probably about two to three feet long and they had been covered in ice they hadn't uh, melted yet but the Sun was shining through them and it looked like golden glass all along the side of the road and it was so beautiful it was one of those things that I tell you about those grand surprises when I go to do something and something else shows up that is like something to celebrate and it was so lovely. I wished I could have gone home and rushed and got my camera and come back. But by that time, the sun would have gone down and the effect would have been over. But it was such a treat to get to see that. And so sometimes those small things like that are a celebration. There's something to be grateful for. There's something to take in and go, wow, that was just beautiful. Or that was awe-inspiring. Whatever that might be. And know that you are that for in your life and what it is that you're doing in your life. You know, celebrate who you are. Celebrate your small wins. Celebrate your big wins. Uh, know that what it is you're doing makes a difference in the world around you, to the people around you. And also when you do that, you begin to continue on with more of that. It's kind of like a gratitude practice. Whenever you're grateful for something, it creates more to be grateful for. It's just part of what that is. It's, it's the law of appreciation. And so it keeps appreciating. It keeps growing. It keeps expanding into something even better. Know full well how you are so uh, blessed with what your life has to offer and how you have so much to offer, not just yourself, but to everyone else. But if you do this for yourself in an even better way, let's just say you even look in the mirror and look at yourself and go, you know what? I'm proud of what you did today. And you smile at yourself, you might tell yourself that you love yourself. That's been the work of many different people who teach these things for a long time, and it's a good practice to have. But just know how much you matter and how much you are appreciated 
for what it is you do. And when you do that, then you're able to celebrate other people. You're able to appreciate them and let them know that they matter. You might send them a letter. You might write them a snail mail, put them a, a pretty card and put some great stamp on it and send it their way and they'll have it to keep. You can send them a text. You could just even call them on the phone and let them know they matter. Wish them happy birthday. Uh, tell them about something that you noticed that they did that was really wonderful. And they might not even remember that they did that, but they'll go, wow, I didn't even know. And it would mean something to them. You know, when you appreciate the good in other people and celebrate their good, I have uh, friends that like to travel the world, and I'm so happy for them that they're able to do that. And they have such a good time, and they really enjoy themselves, and it's just wonderful that they get to do that. I know people that have beautiful gardens, and I celebrate the fact that they do that. Some have flower gardens, some have vegetable gardens, and they really enjoy the time that they do that and all that it takes. It takes a lot of work, but the benefits they get from it are just great. So there's just so many things. I celebrate our little kitty cats. They're the most loving little cats we've ever known. They never fight. They never snarl at each other. They never, they're just the sweetest little cats. And they're our little best friends. We go walking along and they'll flop in front of us to let us know that they care for us and they love us. And we pick them up and we love on them and let them know how much they matter. And we do that for each other too. So life is good. And as long as you keep on doing this kind of thing, you'll have even more to celebrate, more to enjoy, more to uh, reap the benefits from that. And so know that that matters. So I want to invite you to another workshop I'm giving. It's actually a three-part workshop. It's going to be the first three Saturdays in March. And let me look up my schedule here. I've got it written down right here. It's March 2nd, 9th, and 16th. It's from 11 a.m. to 1 each of those days, um, mountain time. And it's, a, it's on Zoom. So what's cool about it is you get to do this from home with what you have at home. And uh, it's really fun. We had a great uh, workshop about a month ago of this, and it was so successful. I decided to make a three-part workshop that makes it even more um, deeper work, more exciting work, more fun. And um, check it out. You know, I'm going to put the link here, and you can find out more um, as you check it out. But it was, uh, it was lots of fun. It was fun for me to teach it because I participate in it as well. I work right alongside with you. So you get to, it's, it's live and you get to see how this works. It's really cool. And um, I also now have some of my workshops on my website. My husband's posted them on my website. So there's the one for my near-death experiences. And there's also the one for um, intuition and how it is you can really amp up your intuition and the work that how that benefits you in your life. So those two are on there. Uh, probably won't have my art workshops on there because they're really ones that you have to participate in um, directly. Um, but I'm going to start doing that and those are right there on my website. The link is also above. So I just want you to know how if you go about your life and you know the things that you do make a difference in your life and you're happy about them, do something for yourself that celebrates it. You might, you know, take a bath in the bath in take a bubble bath and light a candle and just spend the time there in the water and just feel the warm water uh, rushing all over you and how lovely that is well, you could go like i do go take a walk through the forest or go sit by the river or uh, take your camera out there and get some photographs in nature go out and have a celebratory dinner with friends or family or just do something lovely for yourself and celebrate you because of the good you're doing. If you're proud of it and you're happy with yourself for what you've accomplished and you're continuing to learn from it, then what could be better than that? Celebrate yourself. So know that I celebrate you. And in the way I do that, I tell you what my grandma always used to say to me. And she'd say, love you bunches. So bye for now.